Ah, I will actually fix it. I don't know why I'm slightly picky today. Okay. All right. Ah. Okay, as we all know, this is the usual definition of n factorial, and that's just n times n minus one times n minus two times dot 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 times two times one, right? For example, when we have six factorial, this means that we are going to stop at six, and each every time we go down by one. So it's just six times five times four times three times two times one, right? And you can work this out. You get seven twenty, and likewise five factorial is this, and you can work that out. You get one twenty. And now I have a question for you. Have you guys seen double factorial? And let me write this down. For example, what if we have six double factorial? What does this even mean? First of all, let me tell you guys that this right here, we are not trying to say six factorial in a parenthesis and then do the factorial. Okay? This right here means that okay. Let me just work this inside out. Six factorial inside of this parenthesis. That's seven twenty. And then we are going to work out another factorial. Well, seven hundred twenty factorial. That's such an astronomical number. And I will just leave that to you guys. Maybe you guys can try to do this on Wolfram Alpha. And I don't know if you guys are going to crash Wolfram Alpha or not, but you can leave a comment down below and let me know. In fact, I haven't tried. But anyway, this is not the same notation as that. Let me explain to you guys what we mean by double factorial. So when we have six double factorial, this right here, we start off with six, okay? And each every time we go down by two. So the next number it will be four, and then we keep going down until two because that's the smallest positive even integer. And you stop right here and you multiply all this. Six times four times two altogether, you get forty-eight. Okay, if you have an odd number inside and you have five double factorial like this, okay, this means you start off at five and then the next number you multiply, you still go down by two. So you multiply by three, and then you multiply by one. Multiply that out, you get fifteen. Okay, so this is what I mean uh, when you have double factorial. And of course, you can write a definition n double factorial, something like that. You can say n times n minus two times n minus four, and so on. And maybe you can break down to cases. But I'm going to leave that to you guys, because what I would like to do is, I would like to write. Some formulas was maybe definitions. When we have n double factorial, I want to use the original factorial definition to help us to do that. So that's the question, and that's what I will do for you guys in this video. And also, this might be useful whenever we're dealing with like power series solutions to a differential equation, because sometimes you may have to multiply a bunch of even numbers or a bunch of not odd numbers. And depending if you want to use the double factorial notation, or you can use the definition that I'm about to show you. It's all about finding pattern and how to write a formula. Okay, so now let's get started. We have two cases to consider because <laughs> it matters if it's even or odd. And let's start with an even first. Okay, so first case, if n is even, and to do this, I'm just going to Look at this as an example, and then I will try to come up with a formula for that. Okay, so now if you look at this, for example, uh, this is just an example that we have, which is the six double factorial. And as we all know already, this is just six times four times two. And once again, I want to build up a connection between the double factorial and the single factorial. Okay, now let's look at this. Six, four, and two—they are all even numbers. And if you would like, you can look at this as three times two. That's six. And for the four right here, you can look at this as two times two, right? And then for the two right here, you can look at that as one times two. How's that? And when we do this, you see we have two times two times two. Three of them together, multiplying it, I can write that as. Two to the third power, and then three times two times one, and guess what? That's the good old definition of the single factorial, right? So I can write this down as multiplying by three factorial, just like that. This is an example for that, isn't it? 
And now I will just have to write a formula for this. If n is even, then I can tell you guys that n double factorial, it's the following. Check this out. When n is 6, okay, you're always going to have a lot of tools because everybody's even. You can factor things out, right? When n is 6, we will have 3 of the tools multiplying. Well, how do we get from 6 to 3? Just divide it by 2, right? So, n double factorial, we will always have this 2, and then the power is just going to be this divided by 2. Half of it, right? So I will just write it down as n over 2, like that. And now, if you look at this 3, and guess what? This and that are actually the same. You can try to do it with 8 double factorial. You will see that this number and that number will be the same. So all I have to do is, I will just do this number, which is n over 2, and then I will do the regular factorial for that. Okay? So this is a pretty good definition of n double factorial when n is even. And some of you guys may not, may not like this, because we see fraction, and then when you have fraction, instead of the factorial, that looks pretty intimidating, right? So this is the way to, you know, go wrong with this. When n is even, we can write n as 2 times some other integer. I will just put this down as k, okay? So in another word, I can replace all the n with 2k, right? 2 times k for n. So for example, when we have 6, this is the same as say 2 times 3. When we have, let's say, 12, I can just say 2 times 6. When we have 100, we can just put that down as 2 times 50. And, you know, the 50 will be the k, and things like that. Anyway, when you have n double factorial, I can write this down as 2, and n over 2, right? Let's use 2k into n. 2k over 2 is just k, okay? And then times, let's plug in 2k into this n. 2k over 2, once again, it's just k, and then we have that factorial, okay? So it depends on how you would like to uh, write your, um, yeah, write your format, I would say. So this is n double factorial under the condition that you write 2k for n. Aha, so it's pretty, yeah? This is pretty, pretty. Okay? Yeah, it's like a text but it's okay. No, anyway. Okay, now let's look at the second situation. If n is odd, okay, then I'm going to come up with a definition for n double factorial when n is equal to odd. And now we have to make some observation. Um, yeah, this shouldn't be an example. This should be an observation, okay? So OBS, much better. Anyway, let's make another observation. And take a guess which odd number we are going to use. Of course, 5. So let's make an observation with 5 double factorial. As we all know, this means, okay, 5 times 3 times 1. Okay, sure, 5 times 3 times 1. Hmm. In this case, I cannot really do what we did because I cannot factor out anything, right? Well, first of all, we notice that we have three factors right here. Hmm. Okay, imagine if I have uh, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and then times 1. I will be able to produce 5 factorial, but the problem with just this is that, okay, we have 3 numbers in black and 2 numbers in red. Uh, I'm missing out a uh, number in red, right? So a much better way is, let me invite a 6 right here as well. So let me rewrite 5 double factorial as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So I'm just putting down this, this, that factor for that. But of course, you know, this right here, I'm changing the entire value of it. That's no good. But it's okay, because I can just go ahead and divide it by the new factors, namely 6, 4, and 2, like that. And then I can pretend nothing happened, because it's the same value, okay? And now check this out. On the top, this is nothing but just 6 factorial, the good old definition of factorial, isn't it? 
And now on the bottom, six, four, two, right? Six times four times two. That's exactly what we just did. And if you would like, I can rewrite this as, well, this is the same as that. I will just put this down. Two to the third power times three factorial. So another way to write five double factorial is just six factorial over two to the third power times three factorial. And this, this is just the regular factorials. Okay, now, uh, how can we write a definition for this though? Okay. Well, first of all, if n is odd, in this case, I have n is equal to five, right? On the top, I will just have a single factorial. How can we go from five to six? Well, I just have to add a one to it. So on the top, I will have to have n plus one, and then I will do the regular factorial. And then this is going to be over. Okay, I have five, and then to end up with three. But you see that it will be easier if you look at the six, because six divided by two, that will give us this three and this three. n plus one is that six when n is equal to five, right? So the bottom is going to be 2, but instead of n divided by 2, when n is odd, I will have to first add 1, so I can get to the 6. So the power right here, it will be n plus 1 over 2, okay? Once again, for example, if n is 5, which is the odd number right here in our situation, I will plug in 5 into this n, 5 plus 1 is 6, divided by 2. That's how we can get a 3, okay? And as you know, this and that match, so I can just say multiply by n plus 1 over 2 factorial. So this right here is a definition of n double factorial when n is odd. Okay, some of you guys might not like this because of what I said earlier. It's okay, because in this case, uh, I can also write down the following. If n is odd, I can write n is equal to 2k. And now, sometimes you can say plus 1, sometimes you can say minus 1 for an odd number, right? In this case, we are actually going to say minus 1. And the reason is because when you have this kind of things, I want n to be 1. That's the smallest, smallest positive odd number, okay? When n is 1, k is 1, okay? Anyway, k starts with 1, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, okay? 2, k, minus 1, double factorial. Okay, n is 2k minus 1. Plugging this into this n, minus 1 plus 1 cancel, so you just have 2k factorial, right? So on the top here, we have 2k regular factorial, like this, okay? over plugging 2k minus 1 into this n, minus 1 plus 1 cancel, this 2 and that 2 will also cancel out later, so you just have 2 to the k's power. And lastly, plugging 2k minus 1 into this n, you will just get k as well, because this and that have to match. So I will just have k, and let me put on parentheses to make this clear, k factorial like this. Okay, so depending on how you would like this, 